What's going on, travelers? You found yourself in the LZ again, and welcome back. And today I want to talk about another subject that uh, has been doing well for the channel here in the last month or so. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been posting videos that are sort of constructively criticizing No Man's Sky and how it could be a better game for more than just the folks that are using it as a sort of a tourist simulator. Today I want to talk about a really cool subject that'll make my buddy Loot-tastic proud and one of the primary subjects that might just make the gameplay loop of No Man's Sky infinitely better. Infinitely. You, you see what I did there? Infinitely. You, you. <sighs> the last three videos touched on the gameplay and exploration problems of No Man's Sky and potentially how we could make them better. And of course, we totally threw shade at the folks who want cities arbitrarily in games, but really why it wouldn't be a bad thing at all. But today's subject is talking about loot in No Man's Sky. How I think a loot mechanic would make No Man's Sky a much better game and how these ideas can be implemented in the already sort of infrastructure that the game already has with very little effort. Of course, I'm not really a developer and I'm not sure how much effort this takes, but hear me out. I would encourage you to stay to the end of the video while I make an entire argument for why loot in No Man's Sky would be a fantastic mechanic to really gamify this game and really fun it up some, you know what I mean? And of course I want to hear from you about loot and today's subject and of course about any of the other videos or what you think would make No Man's Sky a, a much better game. So sit down, take your coat off, open up a beer, stay a while, and hear me out. For the last two videos, primarily, I spent time constructively criticizing No Man's Sky's gameplay loop, saying that it was holistically unfulfilling. Its procedurally generated universe really is a place that you can just sort of walk around and take the sights in, but there isn't a ton more that's compelling than those things. A loop mechanic can greatly increase the gameplay loop and really give you the carrot at the end of the stick. That was the phrase that I used predominantly in both of those videos. The goal to chase after, the hook, the reason to keep coming back, the feature that drives the player engagement. There's a growing amount of games that are looter shooters or have loot based mechanics these days that are really great for engagement and of course you don't have to enjoy those games and No Man's Sky does not have to be those games in order to make the loot mechanic work. Games like Borderlands, Destiny, Destiny 2, and The Division are all very popular for their addictive loot mechanics. No Man's Sky, in a way, has already taken ideas from these games at a very general level, speaking in a loot language that gamers already know from a modern trend. With those ideas in mind, a loot, a loot mechanic could really increase the overall experience. When I say foundation that's already in the game and that's already borrowed from other other games, maybe not purposefully, were things like multi-tools and upgrades carrying letter ratings like D, C, A, and S. I forgot B. I forgot B. Not in that particular order. Things like color coding in green and blue and orange so that you can easily identify the level of rarity and importance and strength. And of course, the color rating and the letter rating, those two things go hand in hand in sort of communicating the varying strengths respectively for the items that you can pick up. Other loot based games were already using this type of mechanic and No Man's Sky already has this in place. With a little bit of tweaking and a little bit of diligence with very deliberate gameplay mechanics, which I'll discuss in a moment, a feature that's already in the game can be utilized to further drive engagement, aiming for that carrot at the end of the stick. Say for instance, multi-tools. How do you find multi-tools right now. Most often, you can find multi-tools in space station. Sometimes you're given them through quests. So these core mechanics don't exactly have to change. But of course, increasing the frequency of how you can achieve a multi-tool through other means would be certainly attractive to me. I encourage you to go and check out my No Man's Sky 2.0 video where I give my top 10 things that I'd like to see in the next big update. But as a preview, it's not to mention creating a good environment for cooperative play.
play. Number two, dungeons. As an extension to the previous item, structures are desperately needed in No Man's Sky, but even more so would be exploration of dungeons both below and above ground, and in space. This would give Hello Games a real shot to flex their procedural muscles with large, sprawling alien structures, perhaps large, derelict or destroyed freighters in capital ships, space stations, and etc. The Visions update gave an enhancement to crash freighters both on land and in oceans, and it's certainly the right direction. I would love to see this idea fully flushed out. Toss on the rumor about procedural structures being developed by former Lionhead programmer Sam Swain, and you've got some compelling evidence for something excellent being on the way. A few of these things were really gameplay driven. Things like having dungeons in the game would be just another way to find loot, like rare multi-tools. And this is something that's also already in the game, aside from letter ratings and color coding. Different multi-tools carry different aesthetics to them, different looks, different types, pistols, rifles, scientific and experimental. Some of these things already being super rare, but the means of actually going Going about finding these things is super tough, and players commonly find themselves on the subreddit or in the wiki tracking down systems that they can warp to to find these things. Wouldn't it be better if you can more organically discover multi-tools, and perhaps having a better chance of getting better multi-tool loot? like upgrades through things like risk and reward. The same thing goes for suit parts. Right now, typically the only way to increase your suit parts is through community events, which I frankly want to do a video on. I have some thoughts about those things too. Ugh. But being able to achieve suit parts through quests or exploring dungeons and things like that could help increase the reward for the risks that you take. Another thing is ask yourself how it is that you find portals. You find a monolith, you give it a special rare item, it points you to a portal, and you dump a bunch of resources in it until it's got enough power to turn on. Think about instead of earning these items through purchases or finding them in a random green box somehow haphazardly placed on a planet's surface, having these rare items be loot that you can get from shooting down ships taking down monsters in caves, finding a ruin under the sea. All of these instances that I already talked about can help put a big focus on a loot system in No Man's Sky that can really help game things up a bit. So why put a loot system in No Man's Sky? Over the past couple of weeks, I've been sort of criticizing No Man's Sky on some areas of opportunity that I think that uh, they could really focus on to add some really good and addictive gamification to No Man's Sky and utilizing systems and things and features that are already in the game, but sort of retweaking and rebalancing these things would really be a solution to the last few videos talking about the No Man's Sky gameplay and exploration problem. Even with adding things like cities, even if you can get past the other shortcomings like potential potential performance issues and things like that, being able to find loot or purchase loot exclusively at cities and things like that could really not only borrow from games like Destiny and Borderlands, but these things could really redefine that genre. One final point. Remember when Destiny 1 was announced? Remember those days when people sort of had a different idea of what they thought that Destiny would be? And then when the game launched, people were disappointed? Kind of reminds you of No Man's Sky in a way, doesn't it? In a funny and ironic way, No Man's Sky can be the game that Destiny players thought that game would be. A large universe of planets to explore, various different types of gameplay to be had, loot to find, steal, and plunder, and kill for. But for those of you who are in here thinking that we don't need this, I don't want this in my game. Not only do I have a video cooking up for y'all, but the beauty of No Man's Sky is that you never had to partake in any of those new features. No Man's Sky has never changed for the folks that simply just want to explore these worlds. The fun part about risk and reward, especially for loot, is that those things would be just as optional as joining in multiplayer. With exception of maybe some of the terrain generation and the lack of color over the last couple of updates, No Man's Sky Sky has basically stayed the same for the folks that like to wander around those galaxies. So there's my TED talk about loot in No Man's Sky, folks. Tell me what you thought. Please do 
type me some awesome words or angry words or criticizing words in the comments and like and subscribe etc etc if you thought that the video was useful for you super hyped to find out what part three of beyond is and i know you can't wait either and come back and see me again in the future bye everybody